The EV stock sector has seemingly lost its steam. It's slowed down and a lot of our favorite EV stocks have pulled back significantly. It feels like the EV sector has drank a bottle of laxatives and has a horrible case of diarrhea. And the stallion, workhorse, has sold off with the EV sector and has caused a lot of investors to shart their pants. If you're unfamiliar with what a shard is, it's when you try to fart, but you accidentally squeak out a little dookie with it. And a lot of workhorse investors are scared right now and they're sharting their pants. But no fear because the stallion is going to the moon, baby. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some breaking news regarding workhorse stock and the USPS contract. A leak has came out indicating that workhorse is the front runner. We've been saying it on this channel since the beginning that Workhorse is the front runner to get this USPS contract and there's breadcrumbs being left that are telling the story that Workhorse will get the contract. So today we're going to talk about why I believe that Workhorse stock will be going to over $40 a share within the next two months. We're going to be breaking down some important news, some important updates. We'll break down the chart, the price action, and the leak that I'm referring to. So you're going to want to stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, this is Touchdown Trades. My name is Kevin, your trading BFF, your stock market bestie. Let's break down this workhorse stock, some major news, some major updates, and as always, let's secure that bag by making smart investments and sound trades. Let's get it. Ooh, baby, we get to talk about workhorse stock today, the stallion. You guys know I love breaking down workhorse stock. I love everything about this company. We're going to be talking about some crazy updates that have been breaking over the last week or so. We're going to talk about the recent price action, the recent sell-off, and some news that's been coming out about workhorse stock. But before we get started, go ahead and destroy that like button for me. Go ahead and give it the old touchdown trades snake eye jab in the eyes. Just go down there, start clicking stuff, the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. You guys know what's up. All right, so workhorse stock has been selling off pretty hard over the last couple weeks. We hit highs at $30, almost $31 a share, and we've rolled over, and now we are testing that very important $23 level. So what is going on? What has caused this sell-off? And why do I believe this workhorse stock is about to trade over $40 a share within the next two, three months? It all started when Romeo Power Technology a provider of EV manufacturer batteries. They provide a lot of the batteries for these EV manufacturers. Okay, so this is a big battery company. It's a big deal that this company is going public. But we're not going to be talking about this company in today's video. We'll break this company down in a later video. When, when a SPAC is about to go public, there's about to be a merger. A lot of the times the companies will release an investor presentation talking about the business model, how they plan to grow, how they plan to progress in the industry that they're in. So Romeo Power is no different and they released an investor presentation. And in that investor presentation was some very tasty, some very juicy breadcrumbs. So I have the Romeo Power investor presentation pulled up. They are a battery provider for EV cars and trucks. We can see their customers down here. They have a lot of big customers, John Deere, Nikola, Green Power, BMW. So we have a lot of big customers that buy their batteries from Romeo. And we can see here, one of their customers is the good old stallion, our long lost pal, Workhorse. This by itself doesn't really mean much, right? Because Oshkosh is also on here. Both are in the competition for the USPS contract. But just wait. Here's where the breadcrumbs start to come together. So under secured partnerships and committed revenue in the CV space, the world's largest logistics players committed to electric fleets. So here they're talking about some of their deals, some of their partners. We have Walmart, Amazon, and wait, we have the USPS. The USPS is electrifying the majority of its 200,000 vehicle fleet. Okay, so what does that mean? That doesn't say that Workhorse is getting the USPS contract. That doesn't mean anything. But remember, Earlier in the previous slide, it said Workhorse is an existing customer, and now they're talking about the USPS electrifying their fleet. Now let's go on to the juiciness. Here we go, baby. Here is the juicy stuff. All right, so Romeo Power, at a glance, 
core product offering. We got medium duty short haul truck. Look at this USPS truck. Does that look familiar? That is Workhorse's truck with the USPS logo on it. So does this mean you at the USPS deal is a lock for Workhorse? No, it doesn't. But it's just it's just too much, right? This is too this is not a coincidence. There's too many breadcrumbs leading to Workhorse getting the USPS contract. We have Workhorse hiring tons of new engineers, tons of new manufacturing staff. We have this Romeo Power PowerPoint presentation showing the Workhorse truck with the USPS logo on it, showing that the USPS is electrifying their fleet, and they have the freaking workhorse design with the USPS logo on it. This is just leading me to believe that workhorse is absolutely going to get at least a big chunk of that USPS contract. It's just too much. I want to go over this article that was released on Investor Place real quick. And the guy who wrote this article nailed it right on the head. And I want to talk about it real quick and go through the article. So this guy basically said that yes, Workhorse is a speculative buy, right? Investing in this company at a startup level is risky. It carries inherent risk, but the risk is outweighed by the massive potential because there's nothing that these traditional auto manufacturers can do, the traditional combustion engine auto manufacturers can do to slow down the EV wave. The EV wave is coming whether you like it or not, and part of that wave is going to be delivery vehicles, the last mile delivery, and Workhorse has narrowed that niche down. They've pinpointed that niche, and this guy basically said he thinks Workhorse is going to take over that last mile delivery niche and become a gigantic behemoth in that industry and I agree with this guy. I think he nailed it right on the head. I'll link this article in the description of this video. We also got Kathy Wood and ARK Invest. They keep buying workhorse stock. It is the 15th biggest holding in the ARK fund. Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are known for nailing innovative and disruptive tech right on the head. They got Tesla right. Everybody critiqued Kathy Wood and ARK Invest for making Tesla the biggest holding in a couple of their funds. It was 10% and still is 10% of the RQ fund. So Workhorse is the 15th biggest holding. They owned 750,000 shares. And I think Kathy Woods is right on this one as she has been right many times in the past. All right, guys. Before we talk about the next reason that I think Workhorse is about to make a move higher, check out the two-week free trial for the private Discord chat and alert service. Link is in the description. Two weeks, risk-free, you don't like it, cancel. Another reason that I believe Workhorse is about to make a move higher is a lot of big traders, sharp money, big traders are buying what's called call sweeps. This is when they come in, they buy a ton of call options, way above the current price, and they that means they expect that the price is about to make it move higher. A call sweep is where you basically come in and buy as many call options as you can at a strike price way above the current trading price. This indicates that the traders believe that the stock is about to go higher. In this instance, a big trader came in and he bought a call sweep on the $45 strike price expiring in January. This is a big sharp money trader who obviously believes that workhorse stock will be trading above $45 per share in January. All right, let's wrap things up by breaking down the chart, talking about the recent price action, the recent sell-off, and what I think is about to happen with this workhorse stock. So we are currently trading at a very significant level. We ran up, we had that big run up, we tested $23 per share, and we initially failed that level. And that became resistant. We held $15, consolidated for about a month or two, and then we ripped higher, broke over $23 per share. And that prior resistance is now acting as support, and I fully expect us to hold that $23 area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the $23 area to add off of. I'm gonna use it as support and to add off of. Buy the pullback, sell when it breaks out. Buy the dip, sell the rip. That's the way we do it at Touchdown Trades. Buy the dip, sell the rip, baby. So this $23, that's gonna be my ad zone. I expect that area to hold, and I think we could consolidate in front of that area for a couple weeks. And we may even break through it, but I expect it to just suck right back up, and then I think we break over all-time highs 
in the next couple weeks and head towards $40 per share. There's just too many breadcrumbs leading us to this stock moving up, making the next leg up. I think we get the uh, USPS contract. I think it's announced before the election. I still believe that. There's too many arrows pointing in that direction. My Sherlock Holmes investigating techniques have, lead, have led me to believe that the USPS contract is in the bag and that this stock is heading higher. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. If, you're not, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Turn on the notification bell so you get alerted every time I post a video. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. The growth is amazing. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Drop.